Hey guys, so I just wanted to take a second to finish out the chapter 14.1 notes. Um, we didn't get to the last example, the application, so I wanted to make a video so that you would have access to it um, before you sit down to do the homework. So this example says, to host an event at Spartanburg Memorial Auditorium, it cost $250 plus $10 per person in attending. The first step says to write a rational expression that represents how much, I'm going to circle that, how much you would need to charge each attendee in order to cover the cost of hosting the event. Let X be the number of attendees. So the first thing that it's asking me for is not to solve it, not to simplify, just to write an expression. It just wants me essentially to translate from words to math. So the first thing I need to do is use this part right here to translate that thing into algebra. So I've got $250 plus $10 per person. So the total cost of the event, total cost of the event is going to be $250 no matter what. It doesn't matter how many people are there. I have to pay, think of it as like a security deposit. I have to pay $250 just to get the space. And then in addition to that $250, I have to pay $10 per, which means times, each person attending. So the total cost of the event is going to be $250 plus 10x. That's going to be my out-of-pocket cost if I'm the one hosting the event. But my question says, write a rational expression that represents how much you would need to charge each attendee in order to cover the cost. So I'm setting up, say, a fundraiser luncheon, and I don't want to pay the cost to rent the auditorium. I want to divvy up or divide out that cost to each attendee. So the total cost is what you can see here, 250 plus 10x. And so I want to divide that out by the total number of attendees. So if there were 10 people, I would want each person or family or whatever, we'll just say each person, each person to pay a part of it because I am dividing up the cost among the total. So for my first part, the total cost of the event is 250 plus 10x divided by x. So you would write that this way, or you could write it as that way. Either one of those is fine. Hawks will accept either. I will accept either. Um, either one is good. Step two says, how much would you need to charge each attendee in order to cover the cost of hosting the event if 10 people were attending? What that says is you are going to let X equal 10 because I want to know how much am I going to charge each person if there's only 10 people coming? So I've got my equation, 10x plus 250 divided by x. And where there was an x, I'm going to replace it with a 10 because there are 10 people that are joining. Now remember, I have to do the whole numerator first, so I'm just going to type that into my calculator. Um, you can use order of operations. That one's not too bad. You could have done that in your head. I could have done that in my head. So I've got 10 times 10 is 100 plus 250 gives me 350 over 10. And so I'm going to divide 350 divided by 10, which is going to give me 35. So that means that if 10 people come, I need to charge each person. Oops, not $10. I need to charge each person $35 and then I will cover the complete cost of the event. Step three says determine which values of the variable will not make the rational expression undefined. Sorry, will make the rational expression undefined. Whenever we see stuff about undefined, we are going to take the denominator 
and set it equal to zero because if the denominator equals zero, that is a problem. And so my original expression, 10x plus 250 divided by x, I'm gonna take the denominator, set it equal to zero. Well, it's already solved. And so um, the number x equals zero will not work. And that, remember, think back to my original problem, X is the number of people attending. I wouldn't cover the event if zero people attended. I would have to pay the $250 out of pocket. So, um, yeah, that always think back to the actual word problem. So zero people would make this undefined. All right.